Yo! 2003 Ford F350. This one's gonna be fun. This thing has a hard starting problem. He cranks it over and cranks it over and sometimes it doesn't start. Then he's gotta put the accelerator pedal to the floor and then it finally starts. This engine coolant temperature sensor is running at 14 below zero which is really 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 wrong. It's probably feeding it the wrong air fuel mix. He says after it gets running though it kind of it runs fine but it just starts really hard. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that the wiring is okay and make sure that I'm on the right sensor because sometimes some vehicles have a couple of different sensors. Sometimes they have one for the gauge and and one for the computer. So I'm pretty sure I know which one it is and I'm just going to make sure and I, I got to get this air box off for starters. This thing just pops off like this. You turn it up and slide it out. I got an 8 millimeter hose clamp here or a regular screwdriver. 8 millimeter here and here. There's two 8 millimeters up here too, but if I remember right, I don't have to take those off. I can just slide it out like so. And there's a mass airflow sensor plug connected to this. I got a tab I got to push in on the back and pull that out. I have a couple alternator wires right here and right behind that I think is the coolant temp sender for the computer. You just push in on this tab and pop it off. Okay, I got the cruddy thing off. I'm going to look at my scan tool again. It still says negative 16 degrees, so that's not the right sensor. I threw a jumper on this wire. I just run a wire in and out. The temperature gauge is maxed out. So I can unplug this. Temperature gauge dropped to nothing. So this sensor here is for the gauge and not the engine. I gotta find the engine coolant temp sender. I think it might be right there under the intake manifold. Another thing I noticed too is this intake is leaking. His coolant level was low. You can kind of see it's wet right there where the aluminum and the plastic meet happens all the time. I'm gonna replace the intake manifold on this and I'm gonna try to get at that temp sender. Well, I got out the temp center. This is nice and wet, probably from that leaky intake manifold. I barely touched it and the thing broke. I just got my hand under there and I wiggled it a little bit. I tried to push in this tab to unplug it and it, and it broke. That still says negative 14 degrees, which is wrong. I unplugged the thing. That's been leaking for a while. Now I got the right value. It's maxed out at negative 40 below. It must have had a slight connection in there somewhere between the, the plug ends. I put a jumper on this plug. My coolant temp's running at 318 degrees, so I maxed that out. So I know this is the right sensor, and I know for a fact that it's not a wiring issue. So I'm going to replace that sensor and do an intake manifold. It looks like the upper intake manifold has to come off just to replace that sensor anyways. Uh, you might be able to take the alternator off and a bracket or something and get under there, but I don't even have to try to do that. I'm going to replace this stuff. It might have went bad just because it's been dripping coolant on it for a gob load of years. This should be fun. This sensor's a 19 millimeter. Yeah, I yanked the wires right out of this thing. It's not very tight either. I'm actually using a three quarter inch socket for this, same size. Clean this surface a little bit, just make sure there's no big chunks of crud on there. I went to two different parts stores and they gave me the runaround and tried to sell me the wrong sensor. They all tried to sell me the one for the gauge. So I had to go to the dealer. That's the factory part number. The ceiling surface is, is, is this brass. I'm just going to throw it in there. It should seal just fine.
engine coolant temp is at 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a reasonable temperature now. Seems to run really good. I'm going to put the doghouse on it, put some coolant in it, burp the system, and call it good. Okay, bye.